Did it go live? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to tell? <laughs> I don't know, but we are live. We are live and it's public, you know. And I realize now my exercise ball that the kids come in here and bounce on are sitting it's sitting behind me. Okay. <laughs> Real well, life today. Well, Real life today, like it's real life every day with the two of us. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Homeschool Teachers Lounge. This is like episode seven, all about science today and a few other things. Thank so, um, so glad to be here. My name is Pam Barnhill. I have the Your Morning Basket podcast and uh, I blog at pambarnhill.com. Would love to have you come over and check it out over there. And I'm joined today by my good friend, Misty Winkler, who I get to see two days from now. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I was just packing. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so tell everybody who you are, Misty. Yes, so I am Misty Winkler, and I blog and podcast and have a YouTube channel, and all of it is under the name Simply Convivial. Convivial is about means that we do life together cheerfully. So it's about managing life, living life alongside our kids uh, without being grumpy, because that takes work. <laughs> I'm glad that's your blog and not mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Actually, no, we had a pretty good day today. So, oh, and so yeah, how has your homeschool been going this past week? Last week was good, and this week is break week. So this week has, or this, today has been a great day because everyone's just doing their own thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But one of the things that we do, so we school six weeks on, one week off, and uh, my husband does math with the kids. He is in charge of giving them their page and correcting their math. And I'll help during the school day. But then if I can't help them, which is not infrequent, then my husband will help. Usually on his lunch break, he's available for math help. So that working from home thing really helps. But he assigns, he will just give the kids back their work page um, until they get everything right. Oh yeah. And so sometimes that's multiple days, but mm. he still gives them a new page every day. This is, this is the way he runs it. <laughs> so it's his, <laughs> his way he does it. And so sometimes they'll have, uh, it usually only gets up to three. Cause if it, if it goes back three or four times, then they like sit down and just get it all clear. Right. But on Friday of week six, we do math until everything is all clear. So, and I'll check the math that day and every, and then we go get donuts once all the math is all clear. So then we can have a break week without any math corrections hanging over their head. And we start fresh with just one page on the first Monday. And that that works well. That's part of our routine. So I almost forgot the donuts this last Friday, but the kids said, isn't this week six? Don't we get yeah. donuts? I'm so glad that they reminded you. I love that though. I love that you do the hard things and then you do something fun, you know? Yep. So yep. that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Abby says no math hangovers and I agree. <laughs> so yay. And Jessica loves Jesus is here. She said she finally made it for a live one. Um, and she looks forward uh, to the replay. So thanks, Jessica, and we're glad that you made it here live. Yay! Um, that's awesome. Well, I love that, Misty, and I love that you're doing break week. So, you know, once again, I'm getting ready to travel. <laughs> I feel like my life is an endless <laughs> rotation of trips. It's really not. Like, once we're done with this, it'll be a long time before I travel again. So uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, but I'm happy that... It'll be a long time before I travel again. Um, but so I'm getting ready to go out of town. And that's that's what. So last week we were out of town as a family and we came back and we started school on Tuesday. We didn't do school Monday. And oh, my goodness, that one day threw us off for the entire week. You know, yeah. like we were yeah. constantly going, what day is it? And mm -hmm. like it, 
and when you have, so all of my kids, Monday through Thursday, all of my kids have math tutoring at two. And then, uh, but different kids have it on different days, right? And then uh, I've got two who have online classes, one on Tuesday and one on Wednesday. And we just never could get it together and know where we were going when. So it was one of those kind of crazy, you know, crazy weeks like that. But we finally, um, we finally ended the week. We ended the week well. Um, well, we ended the week with Olivia sick, so we didn't really end the week well. But we did end the week. And um, so today was all about getting them ready for me to be gone. Yes. And so what I decided, what my philosophy was, because we cannot, we cannot take the luxury of taking a break week because, you know, we were so late getting started up this year. If we had been able to start in July, like I like to, I totally would have taken this week off. But um, so we've got a couple things going on. First of all, we got dad school. So um, they're watching Last of the Mohicans. This is dad's school. Dad gets to pick what happens for dad's school. And since I told him we were studying the pre-American Revolutionary times, he's decided they're going to watch Last of the Mohicans. Um, and they're doing some history. And, like, basically the thing is I've decided that I'm going to expect less of them, like, mm -hmm. as far as, like, fewer subjects but expect them to do what they're doing well, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's the kind of philosophy I'm taking with this one is that we're going to expect less, like fewer subjects of you. So we're not going to worry about science. And for the boys, we're not worrying about writing. We're just going to do, you know, what they're doing, but what they do, I want them to do well. So we'll see how it goes. And Olivia's <laughs> got to write a paper. So, um, that should be interesting. She's going to email me her draft while I'm out of town for me to proofread. But it's Lord of the Rings, and her father is a huge fan and has read all the books multiple times and all of that stuff. So hopefully he's going to be able to to help her through that one. So, But it was a good week. Despite yeah. being off the day and lost, it was a good week. And morning time is just going fabulously. Oh, yay. So, yeah, loving that. So what about... Science, Misty, what are you guys doing for science this year? For science, my eighth grader is doing the Novare Earth Science. Uh, I really it I really like their textbooks. They're mm -hmm. written really well. So we're doing that with my eighth grader. Then my sixth grader is doing botany, which um it ended up being I don't know. It's not like I'm using a textbook. We're not doing experiments. I um, I have the book Botany in a Day, which I used with the older kids, but it was always the thing that they uh, forgot and didn't do, and it just didn't actually work out. So I was like, okay, this is what we do for sixth grade science. It never really worked well with the others. Why am I thinking it's going to this time? <laughs> Okay, wait a second. Wasn't there this really smart woman who wrote this <laughs> blog post about having your kids do nature study by themselves? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why can't that work along with your botany in a day? Well, that's pretty much what it's supposed to be. But okay. um, that other uh, piece of that puzzle is checking on that and actually seeing if they did a good job and not just assuming that if they went outside with their notebook that they did a more yes. than a comic book. Oh, look, I studied a leaf. See this right leaf? It's like, yeah, it looks like something a three-year-old drew. Like that is not a nature study. <laughs> what if you had some examples? Yeah, I've tried the whole inspiration, but the 12 year old boy is not inspired by the examples to do not the same inspired. thing. No. So no. Uh, I, I have a book. This time I added, and we're mostly using the Smithsonian book of trees, shrubs, leaves, leaves, and something else. I am really happy with that book. It's you know, it's maybe not a sixth grade book, I suppose, but it has great information and great pictures. And it's um, so the drawings from the book 
were not going so well. The quality was not very high with my 11 year old boy. And so I said, well, if you can't make a drawn notebook entry, you're going to have to write a paragraph instead. So he's writing paragraphs now. And he actually, so, and it's actually working out fine. So there we go. You know, if the preference is to write paragraphs, you know, if the, if the practice is to uh, get really good at observation, you could do that with a paragraph too. You could describe, I think, you know, Charlotte Mason people don't throw tomatoes at me. um, (laughs) Or me. That's not what I'm trying to, you know, I'm not trying to do 100% Charlotte Mason at all, but yeah. um, Yeah, the, I couldn't tell by his journal entries, which were not very well done, that he had even read the assignment. And so Mm. that's what we went to a paragraph where it's like, I need to see from this that you were actually, what you actually learned. So, right, right, right. Mm. Well, we are using, we got a couple things going on for science this year. Um. My 11-year-old, almost 12-year-old boy is actually taking a class, He's taking a live class with Homeschool Connections. It's a semester-long class all about dogs. Nice. He's science dogs. Yep. <laughs> He's got a teacher, like, and he does his dog class every week, and they learn all about, like, just uh, the physiology of dogs and, I think, the behavior of dogs. And, like, this kid, he's all about dogs. So that's all I can get him to read about is dogs. And so um, it's the perfect class for him. So he does that once a week, and I don't have to worry about it right now. Now, in the spring, I think they've got a reptiles and amphibians class. I'm going to see if he wants to take that. If not, we're going to do some of the Science Unlocked kits um, Mm. from uh, Home Science Tools. Uh, We've tried a couple of those already this year and uh, enjoyed them. So we would move to one of those. And then um, the two big kids did a Science Unlocked kit at the beginning of the year. And I've got another one for them to do later. Probably when I'm traveling in the spring, I'll let them do it with dad. Um, But right now we're doing Chemistry in the Kitchen from Guest Hollow. um, Fun. Which is a literature-based Uh, a literature-based chemistry class. It's not like a hard science for anybody who wants a hard science, you know, kind of thing. Um, I know Olivia doesn't. And then later on, if John does, we'll always just take chemistry again. He's in ninth grade. But um, gosh, I'm running out of time for that kind of methodology. I'm going to have to figure (laughs) out what he wants to do. Because I can't do, you know, I can't, like, yes, yeah, so I got to figure it out. But anyway, the method the, the method I've used so far is if he wants to go deeper later, we'll do a, a, the class again. Um, but this is, it's you could use it for a credit. It's living books, you know, um, what Einstein told us, Cook, Napoleon's Buttons, the Book of Elements, oh, the yeah. big one. Oh, fun. Yeah, um, lots of videos and, and just different things like that. So we do science together for about an hour every day. All oh, the wow. experiments are kitchen experiments, um, and and we really enjoy it. So Nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of our, our big highlight of the day. So, yeah. Well, um, Elizabeth's saying that, like, whatever gets them to do the thing, to draw, write, <laughs> smoke signals just do the assignment i have some who would probably love to burn things and call it (laughs) again 11 year old boys (laughs) exactly (laughs) exactly i love it love it well uh misty i will see you in a couple of days Um, yes that would be so much fun pick me up yeah (laughs) and um We'll see Don Garrett and Abby in a couple of days. If you have not signed up yet for the Scola Sisters uh, retreat this year, all about memory, you will be missing out if you do not sign up. So go to scolasisters.com slash memory over there. Guys, I am over here, like, look, sweating bullets, doing so much work. Um, for this retreat so you do not want to miss it because we have wonderful good things to say and to talk about and just to have a conversation with you about memory we have a lovely poem that we're going to memory palace to demonstrate that for you and uh, so many other things as well so do go sign up scolasisters.com slash memory all right misty we'll be back 
Do we know what we're talking about next time? Are we talking about history? Well, on Monday the 11th, next Monday, we are off. We are not going to meet because we are still yep. going to, that's a travel day again. And then, uh, but the Monday after that will be on my channel talking about history. All right. Sounds great. All Thanks. Right. See you guys. Bye. Bye.